constant pH molecular dynamics, CPHMD, simulation can capture a complex interplay between multiple protonation states of titratable residues of proteins and their surrounding environments. During the CPHMD simulation, distinct dynamics can be observed by subsequent protonation and deprotonation of titratable residues at certain pHs, and the pKa of those residues can be calculated from the henderson hasselbalch equation when generating a titration curve with multiple simulations at a range of pHs. Thus, the CPHMD simulation is especially beneficial for those studying pH-sensitive biomolecular systems such as enzymes, and for those interested in calculating the pKa of certain titratable residues. There are two mainstream methods for CPHMD simulations. One is a discrete CPHMD simulation where the titratable site is either protonated or deprotonated at all times. These discrete protonation and deprotonation states are propagated with the metropolis step of Monte Carlo. Since an acceptable Monte Carlo proposal is nearly impossible with an explicit solvent system, NAMD generates a Monte Carlo proposal using non-equilibrium MD. Unlike the above discrete methods, a continuous CPHMD simulation can be implemented using lambda dynamics, where the protonation state is expressed as a continuous lambda variable ranging from 0 to 1, and a user can set specific threshold values such as less than 0.2 and more than 0.8 to define protonated and deprotonated states. The titratable residue parameter will vary based on this lambda value. Also, some implementations use a bias potential to push this lambda to either end in order to minimize the time spent in non-physical states of the residue. CPHMD Simulator in CharmGUI provides the simulation systems and inputs for discrete CPHMD with NAMD and continuous CPHMD with Amber, Charm, and Gromax. This method will require a constant pH-specific topology and parameter files derived from certain molecular force fields, and this varies among combinations of package and implementation. Force field, package, and titratable residue type combinations are shown here. And this is also available on the first page of CPHMD Simulator. Setting up and preparing a CPHMD simulation is not a trivial task. CPHMD Simulator facilitates this type of simulation by seamlessly generating CPHMD systems and inputs in the Charm GUI platform. Also, certain CPHMD methods can be much more efficient if a residue-specific reference pKa, or ref pKa, is provided for setting up the residue-specific MC proposal frequency. We provide a predicted ref pKa based on the structure using PropKa3, but if you have a better idea, you can modify it after downloading the input. This video demo demonstrates the general functionality of the CPHMD simulator module. The protein system we will use is hen egg white lysozyme, or HEWL. Lysozyme is an enzyme known for its antibacterial activity of degrading many types of cell walls. This enzyme has also been widely studied as a test system in computational enzymology. To begin, go to CPHMD Simulator, type the PDB ID 4LZT, and click Next. We want to include the protein and crystal water, and click Next. If we want to modify the protein structure, this is where we would do it. To learn how to use the structure manipulation options, please see the video demos for PDB Reader and Manipulator. In addition, titratable residues for CPHMD must be specified here. You can add residues one by one based on SegID and ResID. Setting a ResName will filter ResIDs for you. During system generation, they will be protonated to ease the setup, but the initial protonation state based on the system pH will be automatically set by CPHMD simulator. In this HEWL case, we will add 10 titratable residues, glutamate 7, histidine 15, aspartate 18, glutamate 35, and aspartate residues 48, 52, 66, 87, 101, and 119. Then click Next to generate a charm-compatible PDB file. Once done, you should view the structure to ensure that it was read correctly. We solvate the protein and add ions to mimic physiological conditions. If you have any question regarding this step, please see the video demos for Solution Builder. With default settings, we built a solvated system and go into the CPHMD simulator specific input generation page. At this stage, you can select the CPHMD supported molecular force field from the drop down menu and the supported implementation and package checkbox for input generation will be shown below. Also, the whole system is visualized with NGL Viewer, where previously selected titratable residues are marked with magenta. The list of selected titratable residues is also displayed. Note that this list will vary if you change the force field and package combination, since some residues are titratable in one package but not in another. 
Finally, you need to generate the pH ladder, meaning the range of system pHs that you will simulate. Minimum pH, maximum pH, and number of systems are your inputs, and CharmGUI will generate an equally spaced pH ladder and corresponding system inputs for you. Now we have generated the CPHMD inputs. The enclosed README will further guide you how to use them, but if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us at the CharmGUI forum.